Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's the second day of Lightning Talks. So do you know how this works by now? OK, so we have 10 speakers, and they all have five minutes to talk. And in fact, yesterday, they were all pretty much like four minutes. So guys, you have loads of time. Don't worry about it. What happens after four minutes is I have a little bell, and I ring it. It's quiet, but the speaker gets the idea he has to speed up. And then after five minutes, I have a gong. I have a gong. And after the gong, you should clap. <laughs> but I guess you know that already. Uh, excellent. Shall we start? The first speaker. Hi, uh, I'm Cello Geek, and uh, Vincent Bachelet actually, so it's my nickname. Uh, I write Moix option to replace actually Moix, Moix get up or any get up extension. Uh, I was sick of uh, this module because it automatically uh, attach an option, a command line option to any as I use in my module. So we often has a lot of roles and it, we have to declare each time this is not a command line uh, option. So with Moix option, I have solved this by using a keywords. So I, uh, I have an, a special option to declare my command line. So I will show you what we can do with this. Oops. <laughs> okay. So here, uh, basic usage uh, we can do with uh, Moix option. So I don't know if you see. So in your uh, in a Moo uh, object, for example, you can use uh, the keyword option and declare verbose like a read only attribute with the short option V. And uh, it's a repeatable option, so you can push uh, many, many V like the example uh, above. So when you push one V, the V uh, equal one and two and three, etc. I can show you just this code. Voilà, so I have a mo uh, package with mo, mo x option, my option. So I just uh, have my option uh, from the terminal, which is uh, I use new with option to get this. And if I have no verbose, so I can have a, a text. With one verbose, I can have another text, two and three, etc. So you can catch it uh, really easily. So another example, it's to fetch a list of values. For example, I have uh, an ideas. So I say it's a list of integer with a format. You use uh, get up long descriptive. So we have exactly the same option. And I have a magic in Moix option, which is auto split. So we can do something like that. Uh, for example, I have a IDs one, so the value of uh, my attribute is an array with one. I can push two options, IDs one and two, so I have one and two, and also I can push one, two, and three, comma, four. So it auto split on comma, and we have an array with a lot of, uh, with one, two, three, four. Voilà. So a lot of people use pass-through, so we can also do it with uh, Moix option. Um, 
For example, uh, I have had a keyword in uh, import, uh, which is flavor. So we pass, pass through, which is related to get up long descriptive. And uh, we don't protect the argv, which is a default. So we can get the results after the code. Uh, for example, I have an option outputs, and I call it like that, uh, my demo. So in output, we have my.zip and nothing left in argv. If I put my.zip with a, b, c, d, we have uh, a, b, c, d in argv, so we can do uh, any want, anything you want with that. Okay, speed up. We can also use it with a role, so you can declare your option simply in the in a role of mo or moose. It works also in moose, and use it simply in the in a package. So you can uh, push any option you want in any role you want and use it like that. So it works. And I have had um, sorry a skip option. So if you have a role with option and you don't want uh, to, have, to, to have an option like verbose, it's like with music get up with a trait, uh, no get up. So you can skip an option. It will work exactly as a, the as keyword. So here we see the V option doesn't, is not an option, so it appears in argv with a pass through. Voila. I want to thank... Okay.